1.4 million pounds of tree debris has been brought to free storm cleanup sites so far following a major storm earlier this month and those free drop off sites will continue until further notice. But one couple is stuck with a tree in their yard. Wave News reporter Mark Stevens says they want Metro to clean it up. Mark and Norman Smith has lived along the 14th fairway at Iroquois golf course for 50 years. Smith says stray golf balls have always been a problem in the yard, but now he's dealing with something that was unexpected. I don't have a tree in my yard. That's not nice. I do now. Norman Smith says he will not forget the sound of that storm a few weeks ago. I said, my God, this must be a tornado. And no sooner than I said that, boom. Because now he's left with this, a tree from Iroquois Golf Course that fell into his backyard. Smith called Metro Parks the Monday following the storm. They said they'd get back to me, and they never did. And I called back on Friday, and they got a hold of a girl, and she said, well, I talked to my supervisor, and, she, and they said it was an act of God, so it's your responsibility. Smith's insurance company won't help with the bill since the tree didn't damage his home. A tree removal company quoted him $32.50 to remove it. That's not $32.50, that's $3,250. <laughs> Wave News asked Metro Parks why it's not removing this tree. A spokesperson sent us the city's tree ordinance passed in 2017. But on Metro government owned property and on rights of way, uh, we need to protect our trees in a, in a particular way. That ordinance did a lot, including making property owners living next to public trees responsible for their maintenance. Case closed. Not so fast. Always read the fine print. In the definitions, public trees do not include trees on park property. I've been planning on this house for over 50 years. I mean, they ought to be able to do something for me. Smith hopes the Metro will remove the fallen tree. For now, though, he's got a clear view of the 14th fairway, even though he can't walk in his backyard. He told me he's having the division's risk management folks, basically the lawyers, contact the Smiths to see what they can work out. We'll let you know what happens. Mark Stevens, Wave News.